Bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Nice, bro. He looked down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Sweet. Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Yeah. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> no. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Keep walking, hippie. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. No. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Yeah. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir.
Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Pissed we took so long. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Here's my go-to source for instant photo ins Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, hi, Juliet. This is so stupid. Answer you. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you, you know find out? Know. Uh, crazy. why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked down. Hey, Juliet. This is Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even ridiculous. think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? 
Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. That looks like a home pregnancy test. This is both sad and pathetic. Obvious, but true. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other.
this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Ow! Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? <laughs>